Hi, my name is David Rothstein, and right now I'm going to talk about cocktail music. Now, cocktail music kind of gets a bad rap. People really blow it off. They think it's not important at all. Certainly, it is less important than the other four, other three aspects of your wedding, which is ceremony, dinner, and dancing. But it is important. And why is it important? It's important because it's the first impression your guests are going to have of your reception. So if people walk into an empty room with no music, it has a certain sense of kind of tension, kind of uneasiness. And so what you want to have, you want to have some kind of background music. Now you can use um, a solo piano, a jazz trio. One of those op one of those two options works really, really nicely. Or if you really need to, you can use overhead music from the venue or a speaker and an iPad, uh, which we can offer you that uh, if you wanted to do that. I recommend establishing live music. So when people walk into the room, what cocktails do, or the purpose of the cocktail hour, is to change the mood from the formalness of your ceremony music to something much more casual people feel comfortable having a conversation, loosening your tie, getting a drink, socializing, and it changes kind of changes kind of the soundtrack for your wedding from something very formal for your ceremony to something more casual. And now it sets a precedent, it sets a tone for what the rest of your wedding is going to be. So, don't blow it off, just do something simple, solo piano, or a jazz trio, which is piano, bass, and saxophone. What you don't want to do, you don't want to have a vocalist during your cocktail hour. Because what that does, people are going to stop, they're going to listen to that. That's like another person talking to them. Uh, instead of being able to freely talk to the person that uh, they're having a conversation with, they hear this other voice kind of talking to them. So I would stay away from a vocalist, if at all possible. You also, drums is also a little bit overwhelming. It's also going to take a while to get the drummer to pack up all his drums, carry them into the room, and then set up um, for dinner and dancing. So that's a little bit about cocktail music. The music itself is generally going to be uh, background jazz, Gershwin, Cole Porter, things like that. You can do some pop music in a jazz kind of style, um, but you definitely don't want it to be something where people are necessarily noticing the musicians for that. You don't want to be like, wow, those guys are incredible. You know, it just has to create an atmosphere, have something very comfortable and casual where people can have a nice conversation, they feel relaxed, and it's setting the tone for the rest of the evening. Um, so don't blow it off. Find some nice music to be able to have for your cocktail hour. Make sure the musicians are set up a little bit closer to the doorway where they're going to be going inside so they don't have to carry their instruments through all of your guests, uh, which is really going to help a lot. And once again, as I said in the ceremony video, our musicians that play for cocktails are separate than those who play for the ceremony. So that keeps a really smooth transition from the end of your ceremony to the beginning of cocktails because the ceremony musicians stay in that room, they keep playing uh, ceremony music, and then the jazz trio or solo piano starts up right away. Keeps a very smooth transition. The jazz trio, with us at least, um, becomes part of the full orchestra later. Hope that helps. Please check out our website to learn more drsmusic.com. That's drsmusic.com. You can also reach us directly at 773-719-7610. Thanks so much. Hope that helped and look forward to hearing from you soon.